somebody with him? There was a boy who was picked on because he was a, a goth. He wore dark clothes. He didn't listen to the same kind of music that everybody else at the school listened to. He was picked on. Boy, he shot the gun? Yes. How many shots of what pushed him to the school shooting? He had a juvenile record. He ran with a gang. He was teased. Scenes like these happen all too often. Whether it's racial tensions, gang violence, or bullying, more kids on school campuses are snapping and taking fellow students and teachers with them. Kids don't fight anymore, they shoot. Kids don't know how to fight no more. They don't know, they don't know how to talk, they don't know how to communicate. The first thing they wanna do is pull out a gun and start shooting. And that's where Point Break comes in. The full day workshop helps students address their pain, share it, and look for healthy solutions to their problems. Today, we want to give you opportunities to think seriously about what's going on on our high school campuses, how we treat each other, the lack of respect, the bullying, the teasing, the words that we think mean nothing mean so much, the little things we can do to change our culture and our campus, and to make it a little more respectful. Kids hear stories of students who were taunted so much in high school that they avoided going to school altogether. Some even committed suicide. They learn the power of their words, and they consider the responsibility of those words spoken. They also hear from Point Break counselors who many years ago kept their pain hidden behind tough, dangerous facades. I got involved in gangs at a young age, and. That was my life. Gangs and drugs and, and violence. All because I was hurt, I had pain. You ever feel when you're hurt inside that, you know what, you feel like because you can't hurt your parents or you can't hurt the person that hurt you, that gave you that pain, you take it out on somebody else and you walk around like that, real angry. Well, that was me, that was my life. Through a series of games and small group activities, Point Break draws students in to help them release their inhibitions, unload their burdens, and break down their social and ethnic barriers, all in an attempt to ease the hurt that can cause irrevocable damage. I used to judge people, and I'm, I shouldn't have done that, because the people that I judged, I went back and talked to, and they're like close friends now. A lot of kids bring real significant problems to school. Uh, you don't want to have, obviously, a violent situation on campus. On the other hand, how can you help a person deal with it, not only while they're on your campus, but when they're away from campus? And so I think this program helps students be honest with themselves and their friends and begin to look at where they can go for help. Please cross the line. One of the most powerful lessons of the day is an activity called Cross the Line. Students learn that they're not alone in their struggles and that regardless of who they are and what they've been through, everyone has their own burdens to carry. To see other people out there, just knowing that I wasn't the only one that was going to be on the line, it was nice. If you've ever been pressured to do something sexually, please cross the line. If you've ever thought seriously about hurting someone else to deal with the pain they're causing you, please cross the line. If you've ever thought seriously about committing suicide, please cross the line. You had kids from all walks, all colors, all races, teachers crossing over. And I had no idea. And you know, in my mind, I'm thinking these are, these are happy kids. They come in, they hear the music, they start dancing. At the end of the day, they went through it. This don't happen only on the east side of Franklin or on the south side of Edison. It happens at Lincoln, it happens at Tokay, it happens at St. Mary's, it happens at St. Luke, it happens everywhere. Statistics confirm that 10 to 15% of students live in a family with substance abuse. 20% of students live in a home with physical or verbal abuse. 20% of students are victims of sexual abuse. 33% of high school students have been or will be in an abusive relationship. 39% of students live apart from one parent. We know kids carry a lot of pain around with them, and a lot of it comes from their home life 
or situations that their family doesn't really control but has to deal with. And there's not opportunities to talk about it. There's no place to go and be heard. Um, and so in that regard, I think what we do is we give students a place to air their frustrations and their pain and talk about it and be heard and cared about. One of the things I think Point Break does do on a campus is it breaks down those walls of division between students and between um, ethnic groups on campuses and, and at least gives them um, maybe even a, a second of time to look at what that actually does and causes on their campus so that through this united experience they can bond together and they can realize, hey, you know what, it doesn't have to be this way. I was very judgmental and as soon as I saw somebody, you know, it was right off the back of, well, you know, you're too skinny or you're really ugly or, you know, what are you wearing? But with problems in my life, I don't really want people to sit here and put me down because it just adds on to all the other stress. So I don't think that it's right to just right out the bag judge somebody and by their attitude or by the way they walk or talk, like right off the back, don't like them, you know, because after finding out so much about people, like now I'm going to think twice about it. I think a, a, gr a greater awareness among our kids that what they see on the outside is not necessarily what is actually going on for that student, so they're not so quick to think that they have to just go and pummel somebody to deal with their problems. I think they're a little more willing to respond to help, whether from counselors or the peer mediation, to work out a different kind of solution. We can't tell them anything that they haven't heard. Make good choices, live a good life, go to school. They know that. But there's things that happen to them that they can't share. You know what I mean? And if, if you just give them an ear, or a shoulder to cry on, or, you know what I mean, just a hand to hold, it really does wonders, you know what I mean? It really does, it really helps, because it helped me. Somebody listened to me one time. I feel like a different person. Like, I used to be kind of mean and not say people, say things to people, and now I do, and it just changed my whole personality. I've seen this high school change around. I really have since it started. I see more of a, um, not so much the segregation of kids that you would see years and years ago since I've been here since 94. So um, I think in that way it's just really helped this school um, with the diversity thing. The kids getting along much better with each other and that carries on through their senior year. And the community we live in has also benefited from the work Point Break is doing, reaching out to teens and their families, helping them find solutions before it's too late. Point Break is great. I've seen a lot of kids come out of there, turn around a different way, think different, think twice before they make a wrong call. It helps you because like, you don't have to hold it in that much in your heart or not, and all that. Our ultimate goal is to interrupt or prevent violence on a campus. And so I think in the long run that if students have more respect for each other and if they're more understanding of each other, if they have compassion and if they can empathize with each other, and I think they'll, they'll think twice about some of the actions they take. That, I think, is healthy for any community, but especially high school communities. Like the surfing term, Point Break strives to go beneath the surface to capture the souls and turn around the hearts of troubled teens before they go under and take others with them. If your parents are divorced or currently separated, please cross the line. If programs like this were available when I was going to school in the 80s, I mean, it would have had a, a great impact in this town. If you come from a family where alcohol or drugs were or are a problem, please cross the line. I think Point Break is great. I do recommend that for a lot of parents who have kids out of control and don't know what to do. They feel like they're all alone and nobody can help them. There is help. There's resources here in Stockton they can look for. Um, Point Break would be one of the most effective ones in my book right now. <laughs>